This is ABC 7 News at 5. Well, it seems odd that the Bay Area would celebrate the centennial of the Great Earthquake, an event that killed so many people and caused so much damage. But there is plenty planned, beginning tonight and running through tomorrow. ABC 7's Wayne Friedman reports. It would be safe to assume that while in school, not all of us earned A's in history. But as the clock moves toward tomorrow, there's one date and moment in history that Northern Californians know well. April 18th, 1906. That is when the old San Francisco ended and the new one began. We can celebrate the centennial only once. And for seven months, David Mark and Ben Wood have worked on an anniversary earthquake movie. If the framing looks unconventional, there's a good reason. They intend to project that image onto two sides of Coit Tower, not just tonight, but tomorrow night, turning much of the city into a giant movie theater. It was the fire department that prompted Lily Coit to build this tower. Here at the Coit Tower, I'm getting ready for my projection. Uh, that we're doing on the 18th of April, the 100th anniversary of the 1906 earthquake. We, uh, we're here for, uh, projecting from two rooftops adjacent to the tower. The, the image will wrap around the tower, 270 degrees, one from this side, then one from a few blocks away down the street. You can see it from a mile away. There were people last night coming from Columbus and uh, across the the Columbus Boulevard who saw it and they wanted to come up and see what was going on. You can't see it very clearly but once you get to the tower you can see the images and then from a couple blocks away it seems the best vantage point is down here. The way uh, this intersection here, Union Street. Um, and so also you're able to stand at the tower uh, from the I think south side looking towards the north and you see a clear image on one side and then you turn around the image partially wraps on, on this side of the tower where the statue of Columbus is. Uh, this is the second day of the projection, the final day of the projection. Uh, we're here for, uh, projecting from two rooftops adjacent to the tower. The, the image will wrap around the tower 270 degrees, one from this side then one from a few blocks away down the street, a couple of blocks away. Uh, we previously projected Two years ago, on the 4th of July, a uh, project about uh, contemporary Ohlone people. And this project was inspired by that uh, and the fact that there will be an event, uh, many events around San Francisco related to the 100th anniversary of the quake. Uh, this project has been slightly different because we have worked uh, across two coasts, Dave here and myself in Massachusetts the first time having moved over there. Um, I've been recording firefighters uh, in Massachusetts and including images from the Library of Con Congress. This is this projection is slightly different than the imagery is more abstract than the previous, the previous projection. Um, and so there have been problems with it the past couple of days um, in, in seeing it. It's not cl too clear, but I guess with each projection, it's um, go I'm going to we're going to learn how to refine this and make it better, um, a better process. And, Last night was a great night because there were lots of events going on on Embarcadero. There were uh, there was some kind of um, laser show which projected out of the back of the tower and it made the projection look much better because it looked like I had done that. Um, amazing how camera film and, and photographs have become so high-tech now that we can remember these people. I mean, obviously they're dead now, but they'll always live through these images and how, when we're recorded, we'll be is remembered even more clearly now as we were then. Um, and it's so historical. I won't be here in a hundred years, but my images will be, just as they're not here, but we can remember them. I, I don't know, I find it touching. It makes me realize how I'm a native Californian and how it's a part of my heritage here. And I, I don't know, I find it incredibly moving and touching and I feel like I'm a part of something.